Ahoy there, Captain Benzie here coming at you with another video for EVE Echoes. In today's video we're going to be talking about some new exciting screenshots that were dropped in the content creator channel of the official EVE Echoes Discord that seem to insinuate, well you've already seen from the thumbnail for this video, that corporation um, industry is on its way to EVE Echoes very very soon, though we'll talk more about that in just a moment. I thought it'd be fun also just to showcase a little bit of what the garden here is like in EVE Echoes, just to prove to you guys I do occasionally get outside of the house as well. If my mother is watching this, here is the evidence, here is the evidence. But anyway, if you enjoy this video, let me know by hitting like on it, subscribe to the channel for all things EVE Echoes, ding the notification bell to never miss an upload, and of course let me know what ships, what topics you'd like me to cover in future content. If you do want to go the extra mile to help support this channel, you can of course come and either find us on Patreon, where you can pledge to support the channel that way, or you can come find us on our Redbubble merchandise store, where you can pick up all kinds of awesome t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, water bottles, you name it, it's all there. Anyway folks, that all said and done, let's jump right into talking about Corporation Industry. This is the first of the four screenshots that we were sent in the content creator chat on the official EVE Echoes Discord. Now, I'm familiar with industry, you know, I've built my own ships, I've reverse engineered my own blueprints, I have an alt that makes rigs for me, etc, etc, etc. Um, so, I'm familiar enough with this screen, though obviously mine doesn't have nearly as many manufacturing job slots or reverse engineering job slots, but it took me a while to sort of figure out what had actually changed here. Then I spotted it. Right here in the centre, we now have these two little squares. The one on the left is a square with a silhouette in it that seems to suggest personal resources. And the one on the right is a square that has the corporation logo. When I say the corporation logo, I mean that star with the two wreaths. So if you open your menu and look at the corporation tab, that is the icon that is used to represent corporation assets. So this looks like you'll be able to use corporation assets if you have the right uh, the, the right permissions in order to build ships, etc. in manufacturing. Same is true down here with reverse engineering. We have damaged hulls, personal damaged hulls at zero, and corporation damaged hulls at zero. This looks very much like then that we are going to be getting corporation industry, which is a very cool feature, as I'll explain in a moment. Now, we did actually have this back in the open beta test of December 2019, January 2020. Um, although when I say we had this, what I actually mean is we had the little toggle there to change between personal and corporation. It didn't actually work in the open beta test. Um, and when the game launched, it was clear that they had just removed it. They took those toggles out. Corporation industry was not a thing. Um, it had obviously been removed as something to work on at their for future, which looks like it is coming now. Now, when I say coming now, I'm not sure if this is going to be part of the May update, which of course is getting very, very close, or if like all compression, it might be something that arrives in a weekly maintenance patch. We don't have any confirmation on that, so do stay tuned to this channel, ding that notification, subscribe, um, etc. Watch my patch notes video just to keep an eye out on it there. I will shout from the rooftops when we know that this is going to be added to the game. Anyway, this is basically the standard manufacturing job panel, but it's got that personal and corporation toggle in the top right, so we can move on. There's not much exciting here. If we move into the next picture, you'll see this is the manufacturing panel itself. And first things first, we're building crucifiers. Holy heck yes. Anything building crucifiers makes me very, very happy. If you've watched my videos on any of the E-War frigates, you'll know that I think these are heavily underutilized ships. Crucifiers and vigils specifically. Oh no, the enemy battleship is absolutely destroying our fleet. Okay, so you send out a crucifier with some tracking disruptors and now that battleship ain't hitting anything. Da 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 da! Crucifier saves the day! Happy, happy Benzie. More people should be flying crucifiers and vigils. Griffins are a bit more situational since there don't really seem to be that many missile ships used in PvP. Um, and certainly the more less, well, the less said about sensor dampeners, the better. But anyway, enough of that. We're here to talk about corporation industry. Now, if we look on the well, the top left here, you'll see again we've got that toggle between personal and corporation, which assets you're going to use to build it. And it looks here that we've got new Kaldari Prime Moon One Chief Executive Panel Bureau is whichever corporation hangar that we're using here has enough planetary materials and minerals in order to supply this. This does appear to be using corporation supplies, which is pretty cool. And most notably here at the bottom right, you'll see that the corporation logo there next to the ISK suggests that this is going to be coming directly out of the corporation wallet. 
So, you're building this crucifier, you're using a corporation blueprint, you're using corporation minerals and planetary materials, you're even using corporation isk. All you're doing is basically supplying the actual skills to do so, and this is pretty cool for a number of reasons. Basically, if you're running corporation industry right now, it can be difficult to actually get the ores where they need to go. Thanks to uh, corporation contracts, it's nice and easy to get your miners to sell you ores, and um, so they can go out and they can mine a load of stuff and sell it directly to the corporation without having to run it all the way up to Jeter, etc., um, which is pretty cool. But once you've got those ores and minerals in your corporation hangar, what do you do then? You need to say to people, like on Discord or something, an external tool, basically saying, these are the different ships we need. We need 95 crucifiers, we need 25 sides, we need 15 tempests, yada yada yada. You need to say that on something like Discord, then you have people say, oh, I can build one of those. Then you have to get someone to either go to your corporation hangar, take out the blueprint, take out the minerals, take out the planetary materials, hand it across, then pay them, factoring into the into account the amount of isk that it's actually going to take to manufacture the ship. Now, that takes a person's time and resources to actually do. And the alternative is that you give your industrialists unfettered access to your corporation hangars, at which point the guy who says, oh yeah, I'll build those 15 tempests, actually takes enough ores, minerals, and blueprints, plus money from the corporation hangar, to build 20 of them and then sells five of them at Jeter, thus screwing your corporation out of isk. It's, I'm not suggesting everyone would do that, I'm just saying this is Eve, there is always that possibility. So here, you're basically saying, right, we want you to build this, 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 and this, and then you can get it that way. This is the job panel by the looks of things in this screenshot here. You can see we have a type which is showing industrial. The industrial product here are crucifiers. Runs is by one, so I think you can set that up to like, you know, oh, we need 20 of these. Um, I think rigs especially are going to be uh, things that you can like build multiple of them in one go and sell them all in one go. The initiator is whoever put this up. Here it says me. I just want to be clear this isn't actually me. This me is whoever took the screenshot, not me. A different me. Not a different me, because I've got different alts, I mean a different... Ah, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, facility location and status. These two sort of bear a bit more talking about as well. New, New Caldari Prime Moon 1 Chief Executive Panel Bureau is the facility location. That appears to be the end point that you want these ships. So this can be whatever corporation, citadel, or NPC station you actually want these ships ultimately at. The fact that it says delivered for the status here leads me to think that you don't necessarily have to be in that station to build it. Um, it's probably best to be in that station because that's probably where your corporation is going to be keeping the minerals, the planetary materials, and the blueprints. But if, for example, you had three or four corporation citadels that are being used, you might find that you can build it at whichever corporation citadel you're currently at, and then you can just deliver it to whichever place it needs to go to. This also leads me to believe that, like here, you've got a crucifier job, um, basically saying we want a crucifier at New Kaldari Prime Moon 1 Chief Executive Panel Bureau. Now, if I have three crucifiers, which I do, can I fly one to New Kaldari Prime Moon 1 Chief Executive Panel Bureau, um, dock it, leave the ship, repackage it, and sell it to the corporation for whatever fee they're giving? Because that's a great way for me to get rid of some of my unused chips and donate them towards a better cause, i.e. the corporation themselves. I'd like to hope that that's going to be the thing, and this certainly makes an industrial system in Nullsec much, much easier, because your miners can now sell directly through corporation contracts, um, and they can just fulfill those orders straight to the corporation, and then your manufacturers can use those resources instantly, as long as they've got permission, in order to build the ships and products that your corporation wants, rather than having to make lists on Discord and, you know, new group chats and all this to kind of figure out who needs to build what, where, and how, now it's just done with jobs, and anyone who wants to can fulfill them, as long as you've got the permissions. That's really, really cool. Now, I just want to spend a brief moment here talking about industry, because I've been reading my comment section an awful lot recently. You may have noticed I'm trying to respond to every single message that comes through, as long as I've got something meaningful to add to it. Um, ultimately, I've seen a lot of people talking about industry in very negative ways, and this confuses me because we've got a lot of powerful industrialists in Void, and they seem to be making a good amount of money fairly easily, like they've adapted to insurance, they've, we've found ways to do this kind of job request and that using Discord, so it's going to be amazing to actually have this in-game now, but there are lots of people 
who seem to be sort of showing some concerns about industry. And the number one trend I've noticed is that the people who seem to be most concerned about industry are solo industrialists. Or compression. The people who had big issues with ore compression seems to be the ones who were like, yeah, but I'm a solo, you know, I'm a solo player, that eats into my profits to do. People who talk about hauling. Oh, I can't afford to pay people to protect my hauler, um, because then it eats into my profits. Join a corporation. Seriously, join a corporation. Even if you're a quiet player who doesn't say much in chat and doesn't really want to talk, join a corporation. You'll find that now you'll be able to utilize corporation resources and make ISK this way. You still get to have fun, but you just get to have it with other people around you and in a much more constructive way. Like, ultimately, you're not just chasing an ISK high score, you get to actually have fun whilst doing it. As an example, using the, uh, the, the, the transport there as an example, oh, I can't afford to take a mammoth full of ores from my low sec sta my null sec station um, up to high sec. I can't afford that, you know, to hire security because it eats into my profits. We don't pay our, our, our escorts. We just kind of say, hey, I'm doing a big run up to high sec. Does anyone want to run as an escort? And suddenly we have a fleet up and running. You have a scout in front, a scout behind, and a load of other people in the middle flying alongside whichever carriers you happen to be taking with you, whichever transports, etc. Basically, the payment is the fact that there is a possibility of ISK. The payment is that we get to talk in voice comms. The payment is that you get a fleet that could be blowing up some enemy ships, does a little bit of a gate camp once we hit the high sec boundary, um, and that other ship can pa uh, carry on in safety. Um, and we just get to have fun with things like this. You know, the payment is the fleet. You don't need to actually pay ISK to pilots to do this kind of stuff. This is a video game, not a job. You don't have to monetize everything. Have fun with these things. Ultimately, I think that's a key component for industrialists. Um, and now that we're getting corporation industry, that makes corporation industry even easier. It's going to be easier for those industrialists to make money. And I know that, you know, that the, that the the consensus has been that insurance has really hit industry hard. I personally disagree with that. I know a lot of industrialists in Void disagree with that. They're having great fun fulfilling buy orders, etc. for this kind of stuff, and it's an easy way to make guaranteed money for them. Um, and I think Reddit kind of had, and I know I go on about Reddit a lot, I think Reddit had a really interesting point on that. They mentioned that, oh, you know, look, there's like 25 unfilled succubus orders on... Uh, in the system. That's a, a way to show that insurance is bad. And it's like there, there's 25 guaranteed sales of a succubus there. If you're building a succubus, you can now sell it guaranteed rather than having to post it up at Jita and wait for it to sell over a couple of days or whatever. And they're saying, yeah, but I barely make any profit. And it's like, look, it's a guaranteed sale. Yes, you make less profit, but it means you can sell more readily. That's kind of why Ferraris are expensive and why, you know, a, a Ford, you know, a Volkswagen Golf isn't. Because Golfs are mass produced and everyone can afford them, so they're nice and cheap and you don't make much money on them comparatively. Where something like a Ferrari sells very, very rarely, so the markup on it is absolutely huge. But anyway, that's my little rant about industry over. I think a lot of people are enjoying industry. I think there is a misconception right now that industry is a very hard time. It's a primarily AFK game. It's not going to earn you as much isk in EVE or Echoes um, as going out there ratting and, you know, doing something actively. And I think, in fairness, that's fair. I think something that requires you to be actively at your, you know, at your game, watching it and making actions and decisions constantly should ultimately pay out more than something that you just kind of go, cool, there's the resources, build it, sell it. There's the resources, build it, sell it. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with industry. I think it's a very important part of EVE. I just genuinely think it's not as easy time intensive you don't you don't have to stare at your phone screen as much you don't have the as much risk of losing your ship if you're just fulfilling buy orders that kind of thing and sitting in jita so there's all kinds of different aspects to it but let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below i will try to respond to each and every one of them as long as they're politely worded Anytime someone comes in and tells me to, you know, F off or whatever, I tend to just hide that person from channel. If you've got something interesting to say, I will usually respond to it, whether I agree with you or not. And it's great to have that kind of discourse and conversation. It's how I learn how different people are feeling. And again, I've been accused in the past of basically having an echo chamber just with Void, and that's simply not true. I listen to people all over the community. My goodness, you should see my DMs every time I log into the game. There are just private messages all over the place. 
I'm sitting on about 400 um, unread messages on Discord, that kind of thing. I talk to as many people about this game as I can constantly. But anyway, I'm rambling onwards now. This looks really cool to me. Corporation manufacturing, corporation industry coming to an Eve Echoes near you soon. Whether it's this week in the maintenance, whether it's during the May update, we'll find out more and I will let you know as soon as I do. So make sure you are subscribed, make sure that notification bell has been dinged so that you do not miss out on that information. Anyway, folks, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this one right the way to the end. Happy sailing and see you in New Eden.